Hey folks, and welcome back to Pattaya. It's Christmas time here in Pattaya, day before Christmas, Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas to everybody watching. If you don't celebrate Christmas, if it's Hanukkah or something else, then happy holidays to you as well. Yesterday, I went out and did a little Christmas shopping for V. Now, Thais don't usually celebrate Christmas. It's a Christmas gift, but to them, it's more of a New Year's gift. They, they do like a gift at, at New Year's, but I'll call it a Christmas gift. V can call it a New Year's gift, whatever it is still a gift a holiday gift i'm gonna go present it to her right now should make her happy but first i gotta go change into my christmas shirt while i go change i'll show you how that whole whole thing came about there's a there's a christmas shirt that i have now well, that's right i got a call from mr lucky of lucky taylor at the night bazaar and of course we've been here before but he's made me a, a christmas shirt look at this not just me also one for my friend nick the, his his cameraman while i was there i noticed he only had about a dozen of my shirts left for sale he sells these there a lot of people message me and ask me where they can get them that's it some people still like the old style so i ordered a whole new batch 100 more 50 of each old style new style they'll be there first week of january i had to come down to lucky's and pick up my custom-made christmas shirt nothing gets you in the christmas spirit than a, a freshly tailor-made christmas shirt we'll see how it works <laughs> Yeah, I guess it's safe to say that the Christmas shirt did put me a little bit more in the Christmas spirit. I felt Christmassy wearing it. <laughs> Handsome man Dan didn't want to didn't want to take off his T-shirt on camera, but I think he would be fine. Anyway, I went back down to South Patia. We've been here before as well to the gold store, Daran Darani Gold, Darani Gold, and uh, there's a lot of these gold stores. This is the one that that I like, and I did a video here before, but I got. I got V uh, something she's been wanting for a while. I think this will brighten her day. It's a gold necklace, uh, one bot of gold. I'll, I'll go over that a little bit. But they also uh, gave me another little gift here. And maybe I'll give that to V first. She'll think that's the gift. We'll see how that all unfolds. <laughs> but always, uh, always great service down here, right on Patia Thai, right by the big temple market down here. And uh, the ladies are more than eager to help you out. So there you go, I'm wearing said Christmas shirt, and I've got a hat myself. Uh, I got his Christmas present here, but she's had, she's had good and bad days after the second chemo. She did really well for maybe two or three days thereafter, maybe like on the third day she started kind of crashing. We had a lot of people over last weekend, she was, she was in good form, she was very chipper. It just went kind of downhill from then. She's. On good days, she likes to go out in the yard. Today, she's kind of just staying in bed. Anyway, let's go in and surprise her with her Christmas gift. We'll see how that goes. I'm gonna open the door here. Wow. Merry Christmas. Hmm? Hi. <laughs> Christmas for you. Don't get me. Don't get me. Yeah, yeah, open. <laughs> okay, that's just a gift that I got when I bought the real gift. The store that I bought the gift from gave me that as a gift for buying the gift. She thought that was the gift. That's not the gift. <laughs> nice cup, though. That is a nice little gift that they give you when you buy what I bought. There are certain gifts that I think Thai women are more partial to, maybe. And I think this is one of them. This is one that she wanted. She's opening it very slow. <laughs> For you, Merry Christmas. You give me? Yeah, I give you. <laughs> but. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's a, a one bot gold necklace, and then it has a little. Oh a little. It's got a little heart thing on it. That, oh that's extra. Your necklace is is one bot we've been over the gold prices before i got that at the same gold shop that i did this last video i'll pin that up here uh for gold shopping a little bit to know but they sell it by the bot not by the ounce anyway this is one bot's worth of necklace a bot of gold this necklace and the little heart pendant because that's a little extra was like 30, 31 000 baht happy mine happy or you want 
Or you want this one? You, you want this one? <laughs> All right, I think she's happy with her gift. Don't, don't worry, I got a gift too. Uh, we'll, at the end of the episode, we'll look at what I got because Santa came in my stocking too. No, wait. Anyway, I want to go show you something special. A new place I had lunch the other day. It's a place you might want to check out right here in Pattaya. It's a little bit all the rage on social media right now. So where in the world am I today? I'm out here in Najom Tien. I believe this is Soy 3 in Najom Tien, right off Soy 4 in Najom Tien at a place called the House of Benedict. I'll have to leave you a, a map marker for this. It will not be the easiest place to find because it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing else really around here. I'll show you the road, but big sign, big parking lot. So if you're coming by car, that's a plus. Plenty of parking. But what is this place? Well, I'm asking that myself because I don't know and I'm here. So I don't, definitely don't expect you to know. But the best I can make of it, it's an attraction, it's a destination. It's also a food court. It's probably the most eclectic place now in the Pattaya area. You pay 200 baht admission to come in through a, a very, I don't know, old world-like train station where you would buy your ticket to get on the train. There's luggage sitting there. Everything is done at a certain design level here. You'll see as we go, it's, it's almost just too much to even sit here and talk about. I've been through the whole place already. But you buy your ticket for 200 baht. What do you get for your 200 baht? Well, nothing. You get to come in. But it is, it is something worth seeing. You can explore this place for probably an hour. It's huge. It's like a huge building. Everywhere you turn, there's different rooms. There's different uh, themes. There's different motifs. Upstairs, for example, is like a big carnival uh, merry-go-round motif with a bar in the middle and there's a lot of drinks here different kinds of drinks from coffees to alcoholic drinks to fruit smoothies and there's a stand for each there's Italian soda I met a I met a lady at at the Italian soda place who recognized me she said her her boyfriend used to watch uh, but he passed away last month 34 years old some kind of heart thing there's almost a little part that looks like Venice there's a Japanese thing. all different themes there's even, there's even a loft with surfboards as tables and very comfortable seating. But the selfie opportunities in here, we've talked about this before, everywhere you turn. It, there's probably a dozen people out there right now just getting selfies by the alligator on the, on, the, on the little boat in the little fake canal. Everywhere you turn, there's something like that. But there is food, so it is also a food type location. About the most notable thing I saw is a burger place called Boo Burger. Now, everything in the House of Benedict here is its own little entity. So Boo Burger is Boo Burger. They've got their own little stand. But there are, there's Thai food. There's, oh, there's all sorts. I've seen all, all, all there's fried. There's a fried toast sweet dessert uh, cart right next to where I got the burger. I don't know. The burger looks very big. If the burger's not too big, maybe I'll get one of those fried toast things, but wow, too, too much to really eat and drink in here. There's a whole coffee, a beautiful coffee lounge. You, it's a place you're gonna come and spend an afternoon or an evening maybe. So I'm gonna get the burger. We'll take a look at that when it comes and I'll take you on a little tour of here the best I can while I wait for my burger. So there's a little look around, maybe a big look around. The burger came, uh, the burger was, it was medium sized, wasn't huge or anything. I got the burger and I got onion rings and the whole package for that was 385 baht. So a little over $10 US, maybe like $11 US, something like that. But it was a very good burger. 
uh, not the biggest, but it, enough, enough, especially with the onion rings. Sometimes when I'm out at these places, I, I, I let some people in my inner circle know where I am, what I'm doing. And I've already got some pushback. First guy I messaged said, who's going to pay 200 baht to go in and get a cup of coffee? <laughs> um, when you put it like that, yeah, I uh, wouldn't pay 200 baht just to go in and get the cup of coffee, definitely. But it's more of an experience, and I think the people that are coming here are more curious to see what's inside and take their pictures, and maybe more curious than the cup of coffee. Nothing says you have to get the cup of coffee here. You just look around and take your pictures, experience the place. But cover charges aren't my favorite thing either, not my cup of tea. But I didn't mind paying it. I don't feel ripped off here for the 200 baht. I don't know, a little, between, somewhere between five and six dollars. My father used to say, you know, sometimes the cover charge is good. It's a good thing because it keeps the riffraff out. I don't know. Maybe the guy I mentioned uh, falls into that bucket. <laughs> anyway, Christmas is coming. I got myself a small Christmas gift. I've had the, the, the Honda motorcycle, the Honda CRF, for two years now. And I've been waiting this whole time for a proper air, air intake system to come out. The one that comes with it is paper. Usually motocross bikes will have foam. Foam's okay. Something you can clean because, of course, you get them dirty, dusty, everything. Maybe you go through water. Foam works good. But the paper, I was never too partial with that. But finally, they came out with a, a very nice high-performance one that's made of stainless steel. So I went to the shop, got that installed. And when you start adding these kinds of things, you really need to retune uh, because it'll actually run worse unless you get it tuned properly. So we put it on the dynamometer and we tuned it up. I'll show you what that looks like as I take one last look around here and uh, maybe I'll get something to drink. A little bit thirsty after that burger. So welcome to Speed Dino Motorcycle. I'll have to leave you a map link for this one as well. It's about 25, 30 minutes out of Pattaya, actually pretty close to Ban Chung on the 331. Anyway, we gotta figure out where this where this air filter goes. And while they do that, I'll show you. This is the new one. It's called Hurricane. It cost, I think I paid 1800 baht for that. It's about $55 US. Got it on Lazada. And you can see the stainless steel coils in there. Just wash that off. This will last forever. No need to throw that away or ever replace it. So he's got that all figured out. He'll, he'll get rid of the old paper filter. And there it is. Look at that guy. So we'll just throw that right in the garbage can. So he'll install the new one in there. And then it'll be time just to wheel it onto the dyno. So yeah, now they, they've, they, it's a whole process. They gotta hook it all up. They gotta strap the bike down. Uh, this is the first time I've had a bike dyno test. And I've seen it done before, but uh, yeah, quite a process. Took about an hour. The cost for this, 2,500 baht. And he's explaining to me that it's a, we got an 11% increase in horsepower and torque, but also the power curve, it stays in the maximum power much longer. And that, that's what he thought was more important. So I guess now we'll just go test it out. Definitely notice the difference. Uh, the it, it, it runs better overall, and you have from the mid range to the top end uh, noticeably more power and smoother. So I think it burns more gas, though, maybe. But anyway, next time we'll look at something else here in Patia. But for this one, gotta go ahead and leave it off right here. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now.